So I was at work one day and a young lady came up to me and she seen my mason ring and she said, oh, you're one of them. And I said, yeah, yeah, I am. What's wrong with that? And she said, you guys got your little secrets and your books with your secrets. And I could tell that she was coming from a place of being fed misinformation from her minister and being brainwashed to the point that, you know, she would say rude things to people in public. But I have something to say to the people who feel the same way that she feels about Masons having their secrets. Christians on their high horse will overlook the fact that that, that the whole New Testament is a secret. Okay? When you go to church and you're, you read and, and you're taught from your Bible, you're not getting the real story. You're not getting the real explanation. You're, you're, you're not getting the mystery. You're not being taught the things that the Bible is actually teaching. You're not getting the secret teachings of the Bible. Okay? You're getting the lie. That's what you're getting. The Bible tells us itself. It plainly says, these things are an allegory. It says that in the Bible, that these things are an allegory. And when Paul comes into the picture, he especially emphasizes the mystery of the Godhead, the mystery of God, the mystery of Christ. It's all a mystery. And when Christ does things with his apostles, what does he tell them? Go and tell no man that you've seen these things. Go and tell no man that you heard these things. It's all, all around secrecy. And unfortunately, Christians aren't being taught this. And they, they live in this imaginary world where everything is just laid out for them and their preacher knows best and he's going to tell them everything that they need to know so that they can go out and judge people wrongly. Make false assumptions about the world in which they live in because their pastor, their minister has, you know, put them in this box where they see the world through a, a lens of judgment and hypocrisy. And it's just not it's not good for self-development. It's not good for humanity. So, if, if we're going to be Christians, let's at least be honest and let's be truthful. And let's actually know what we're talking about before we open our mouths.